Welcome back to another Bomb and Gouge golf video. Today we are at the beautiful Whiskey Creek Golf Course in Imesville, Maryland for another 2v2 match. Today we're going to do a lefties versus righties challenge. So on the last video you saw Owen Elliott. He was my partner. He's a lefty. Today his partner is going to be my buddy Anthony Rigobudo who happens to be uh, one of the owners of High Point Roofing right here. Give a plug to them for all of your roofing and siding and gutter needs. Uh, against myself and my college teammate and buddy Cameron Beckner. So we're looking forward to a, uh, a good day, beautiful golf course, beautiful weather, couldn't ask for anything better. So I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this content, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. With all that being said, let's head to the first tee. Let's get out of the way early. This is an 18-hole stroke play match, not match play, stroke play. Let's get it. Yeah, it's a good thing it's downwind here. I know you sent that 299 screenshot the other day, 320. I think you need that win. Left foot down, by the way. <laughs> hey, 52 putts over there. Keep it down. You can't beat that. <laughs> right, I don't want to. Else has. <laughs> yeah, good ball, Oak. Good job. Good luck to find that one, the old uh, shot tracer. Again, get down. Right. Oh, I see it bouncing. Yeah, that might be good. That's going to be good. I didn't realize it was open all Ball the time. Ball came in. I see you yeah. early and often, baby. Oh, what a day. What a day. It's pretty hazy out here today. Got a little uh, air quality alert. It's pretty nice to play in that. Purple haze like Jimi Hendrix. There you go. There you go. The report says do not go outside and do an exercise, so we're doing both. We're doing both. <laughs> All right, bomb of a drive for Cameron there here. We got 40 yards to the pin. Going to try to hit one close, get one up on him. I don't see him making that one. I flew that way too far, Cameron. That was not what I was trying to do. Brian went a little long there, so I'm going to try to hit this a little bit softer. Up the little slope there and have it die down. Yeah, but man, that thing just kept on running. That was a good shot. Oh, oh! Good you putt. Just put it out. <laughs> just to play, too. That was a good putt there. Two good putts. He didn't give us any time to warm up. No. Brian's also on his sixth putter of the year. Seventh. I also want to challenge, exactly what I, wanted I think that too. his arm lock is too high on the line. This one's not. Is this good? You want me to mark this one? I'd, mark I, I'd probably mark it. Okay. You don't know these greens very well. <laughs> wow. It's a tough one today, huh, boys? You guys made me put mine. I gave you Anthony. You said gave his. Well, that's Anthony. That's not me. Well, the same team. That's good. That's good. All right, so we established that you're not a team. First <laughs> hole. Got it. Push. Hammered. This is good. You gotta keep it rolling. Here you go. Oh, so you think just because you it's your right. channel, you well, can just If you really want putts, me to put it, is that what it is? Huh? Thank you. I had that. Oh. Good putt. Two pars on the first. Not how you want to start on a short par four here, but we're gonna get one back here. Par four here, straight away, 345 up the hill, bombs away. Yeah. Uh, Overcut it. Army golf. Do not chip hard left, please. Ooh, she rolling. Oh. Yeah. Get over it. Is it safe to say the fairway's open? Fairway's open. 
That was a bit hard though, I see what you should be looking at there. Bobby brought him. Good ball. That's down there with me. No, that's perfect. Move the flag, move the flag. Game is fast as shit. Oof. Holy That was almost a penalty. That's so fast. <laughs> Better hit the hole, boys. In hindsight, we probably should have just tapped it. It's Can't... pretty fast there, boys. Yeah, lesson learned early and often. Do not putt from above the hole. Hey, don't be afraid of the comebackers, baby. That's right. We're fine. Off the world. That's good, Owen. Don't be afraid of the comebackers. That's right. All right. I can't believe they didn't give that putt to us, honestly. <laughs> All right, two pars again. Uh, lesson learned early do not get above the hole here. On to number three. I'm going to say this is kind of like my golf game, but this is kind of like my golf game. Same here, dude. Drive for show, putt for dough. Yeah. And I am. Uh, my, shit. My, my, wallet, my wallet is empty. <laughs> <laughs> I got these fireball shots for our first birdie. We all suck. Par three here up the hill, 168, playing 178 with slope. Uh, downwind, so we're gonna try to stick it close. Left foot stay planted on it. Nice shot. Nice yeah. shot. <laughs> Touch them all, Didn't ladies cut. and gentlemen. Didn't cut. You remember. Oh. You miss college golf at all? You know what? I do. I miss the free golf the most, but I do miss. I was telling Jeremy about this the other day. Like, I could probably remember 10 rounds, but I remember all the trips, yeah. the hotel rooms, like the most out of all of it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The memories and the camaraderie stick with you forever. Absolutely hammered that eight iron. Terrible shot. But downhill shot here, it's going to be a tough one. Going to try to flop it just right on the green, let it roll out. All right, well, whatever he said, I'm just going to execute it. <laughs> oh, that was special. That was wow. Something like that. <laughs> Great speed. Wow, get in. Nice putt. Number one rule, don't leave it short. All right, three pars to start, kind of a pillow fight, but I think we got some fireworks coming here. All right, we got par five, 532. First two drives, I've kind of cooked a little bit to the right, so I'm aim down on the left side, hopefully get in the middle of the fairway. Oh, and it goes oh, down. And then he cuts it. <laughs> Thanks, Owen, for telling me to aim down the left side. That's on me, that's on me. <laughs> Right down, yeah. Uh, uh, stay there, stay there, stay Rip. there, stay there. Ah. Oh, 
just behind that tree. Nope. Oh boy. It's a gallery wow. remote. Want a mulligan? <laughs> it's just so hard not to swing out my shoes on a par five. I just want to dick swing you know, it so bad. I can't get it to the green in the first one, but I want to every time. <laughs> You just want to yeah. hit it. I remember when we were in college, you tried to reach that 600 yard <laughs> uphill par but five. I don't believe Jack Nicholas did that. I don't either. That's ridiculous. With wooden clubs? No way. With no little, shot. little screws and he hit it. No way. <laughs> Lakeview number 18. Allegedly, Jack Nicholas is the only person to ever reach that yeah, too. It's like 625 or something like that. There's yeah. no way. At the time, Cameron, longest player I know, uh, 340 all the time off the tee. And uh, even he didn't reach it, so I don't believe that worth a crap. Well, there's a turtle. Oh, hey. Yeah, I crushed it. Oh no. Well, we're on the best of shape. Hit mine right. Brian was left basically in the trees, but I hit some of his tree about three quarters of the way high, dropped straight down. About 325 out. Big Brian's going with the driver off the deck though. So let's see what he does. Alright, we're in play. This goes against everything I've ever thought about with golf, especially as a coach here. Hit driver off the deck from 320 out with a little cut here out of the rough. You got it, dude. But you know what? Win in Rome, baby. Win in Rome. Send it. I'll let Brian's editing skills let you guys find this one. <laughs> here we go. Perfect. Is it leaking or is it good? Oh, freaking perfect, dude. <laughs> what a shot. Are you not entertained? <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> a bad spot here. I'm going to try to punch it through here. Maybe sh make sure we don't hit the little car girl. And uh, give it over a shot to um, make something happen. All right, we got 80 yards back pin, big ridge in front of it, so we're gonna to try to land it just at the bottom of the ridge at a kind of low trajectory, let it ride up and fall to the left. I'm gonna play it about 68. Oh my God, that had so much. I just cleaned my grooves. Unbelievable. God. Well, Brian's a little short. He uh, hit about 68 yards. I'm gonna go for the old 69er. <laughs> Our putt is going to be fast. A little too much pace. Not good enough. roll. Good, good par. That's good. Oh my gosh! About time, baby. Took Happy the lid spot. off. Took the lid off. One up, going into number five. Let's go. All right, we got the tee box here. 345, way downhill, but into the wind. So I'm just going to try to ride the tree line here. Nice shot. That should be, be the one. That should be perfect. Yep, that'll work. Thank you. came up too fast there. Down. Uh, bunker. So you uh, finally got a hold of that one. How'd that one feel? It's about time. Sounded different and it flew different and I guess that's what happens when you catch the middle of the flip <laughs> <laughs> Literally. All right, so flashback real quick while we got a minute. Uh, you won uh, a tournament in college, one of the most memorable uh, times in my, there at in my time there at Shepherd. Uh, when you were walking your, your winning putt in from what, about 20 feet, 25 feet? 
Well, I mean, the story was 20, but it goes longer as I get older. Okay, it's 35. 20, 35, 35 feet. <laughs> anywhere between 20 and 35 feet. Yeah. Um, he hits the putt. It's going towards the hole about three feet out. He starts walking, raising the putter up, and he points over this way for absolutely no reason at all. Putt drops. We all go crazy. And first win for Shepard individual in a very long time. It was awesome. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Jeremy was my coach, and I was about one over. And uh, and there's no scoreboard, by the way. This is not like the PGA. No one knows where you're at, the other components are at. So I chip my putt, and my chip up, and Jeremy comes up and goes, hey, uh, we got to make this putt, man. I'm like, dude, I'm already in a pressure situation. There's 100 people watching me, you know? <laughs> and he said, uh, aim about a foot and a half left of the hole and let it die in. And... Uh, and I did, and you're right, the, the whole celebration was very awkward. I, I didn't know what I was doing, but hey, a win's a win, brother. The saying is act like you've been there before, but you haven't been there before. I haven't been there. It was the first win for a Shepherd individual in a long time. Yeah, right? if you want to catch it, look at ESPN 8, the old show, and it's on there. <laughs> dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. And here we are, pin high. Nice little poke there. It said 345 on the cart, but it was 371 on the plaque, and I'm pin high, so that ball was absolutely mangled. Dude, your wedge game is stupid right now. Unbelievable. Wow, man, great shot. Great distance, just left. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. All right, good, good. On to the next one. Two good birdies there. Drivable par four coming up. So, the best part about the win, I mean, at the time I didn't realize how big of a deal that actually was. Um, you know, to be one of the first players to win the Wibiak Championship in a long time, it really meant a lot. I came back and apparently they announced at the basketball game, there's an article in the papers, you know, and half the time I didn't realize that people knew Shepard had a golf team, you know. <laughs> so it was just kind of one of those things where it was my senior year, um, you know, I grinded it out and I was, after the first day I was down by five. The guy shot 69, I shot 74, and to come back to win by one, um, apparently the guy four putted the last hole, mm. so, so I had to win it by one. And if I would have missed that putt in 18, there was a, uh, a five-way playoff for for the first place i would have just got in the cart and went home and the, the bus went home but, but well the was, thing about it that people a lot of people don't know is when we play when you and i played the years we played we were in the dumpster fire group so we always played like the last three groups we were in like the bottom there's 12 teams in the conference we always played like 10 11 12 almost every time uh -huh. so you didn't know you, were, you never played with leaders true no. leaders so you just went out and tried to score and uh and you happened to pull off the dub and that's a tough course barry hills is a very difficult course it, it but that was an epic win man. one of those days where you, you hit the putts and it just went in i mean it was I hit about four hollow rockets that day. I think I topped the tee shot, but you know, literally, I was making everything, and it was, it was a all around good, just a good day, and it was fun to have you guys there to, to witness it, and something that uh, I'll remember forever. Yep, same here, man. Let's send it. Short par four here, three ten up the hill. It's gonna take a good lick to get there, but I think if we, I think it's downwind, so we might be able to get there. Let's send it. <laughs> about the highs we know that there's lows in golf so you got to tell me about this uh what was going through your mind when you shot a uh 90 was a 91 with 50 94 94 with 52 putts you had 17 greens and reg mm -hmm. shot 94 so tell me about how that happened all right so uh run point ocean city spring break uh you played the first board <laughs> yes yeah. i have brutal yeah uh so about the third hole i mean i just felt really light like i just felt like it probably could have been I was hungover, honestly. We were in Ocean City on spring break. Um, but I just didn't know, I just didn't feel right. And my, and Jeremy, my coach, just fed me water all the time. Feeding waters. So part of the, number three is the drivable part four. Drove it, 340 on the green, okay? 
my first putt lip out. I ended up taking a six. <laughs> so, I mean, I basically had the yips. I didn't realize I had the yips before. And every green, dude, it was so embarrassing. Like, I literally had a mental block. I could not go through the ball. Yeah. Once I got there, my hand just jittered, man. And it was so bad that I was like a I tap in. I went at six feet past, dude. It was brutal. Was that was was that your senior year? My junior year, actually. Junior year. Okay. So the I came back and won the Wibiak Championship the next year. <laughs> so comeback story. But uh, yeah, dude, it was. I remember the ninth hole. Um, I hit on the green about six feet, and there was people all around, like members and people like that watching. They're probably watching some college golf, you know, expecting a guy to make a birdie. I was so nervous, dude. I'm like, <laughs> they did not watch the last seven holes, bro, because it was brutal. And. Uh, I four putted from six feet and I took a six, took a six and I was it was it was so bad, dude. I mean, I tried chipping with my wedges. I did like the whole Happy Gilmore. With and you use your driver too, my right? Driver, yeah. And I still. Oh. So I ended up shooting a, a 94 with uh, 17 greens regulation at 52 putts. And mm. I mean, I, I wish I could make that up, dude. But it was all at 52 putts. Aside from your win, the most memorable, uh, other most memorable moment of my, <laughs> my career as an observer. Dude, it was brutal, man. Tough shot here. Got a long bunker shot here, green side, tucked pin. We got a little bit of a backstop behind it. Gonna try to throw something up in the air, get a little spin on it, and see if we can get it to hold here. What is this, this wedge game, man? Anthony? Who bought this guy? What in the heck? We do Zane over here with these lefties. About time. Yeah. yeah fucking yanked it. That hot bad, didn't it? Yeah. We'll see you on the tee box. Oh boy. All right. Back to all square. Two uh, missed birdie opportunity there, but uh, par four coming up. Pretty easy one. Stop it, Wayne. Stop it. Hot off. Yes, sir. Wow. Great putt. Clutch putt. Wow. He doesn't miss those. Let's be real here. All right. Solid birdie there. What do we have coming up? Par five? Par four. I don't know. On the number eight. Clutch putt. That's, that's what we needed. I have not Ooh. seen a putt drop in a long time. I let out a very loud scream that echoed in the trees here. Okay, now this is a drivable par four. I, I screw the holes up, so we can send it here. I think we're about to be on a, a birdie train here shortly. It's 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 birdie birdie. Finish this baby out, honestly. Two 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 two. <laughs>
got to sit down, dude. Just sit down, please. All right, we got 55 yards. Don't have much of a shot here. I'm gonna hit a little hooded 54, try to land it right on the top of that hill. Hopefully it skips through and rolls out to the, to the pin. Go, go, go. Uh, oh, that was so close to being good. I just went a little left. We're kind of dead here. Um, but Brian hit a 56, I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge here. I'm gonna try to go right side of the green there and hopefully it funnels back and get us some kind of a putt for birdie. Par five here, 540, full send here. I need to commit to a cut. The draw is really good when I smash it, but when I don't, you saw what happened in the last tee box. Committing to a cut the rest of the day. I just feel really bad right now with the driver. Um, I got an eight iron here. I don't think this is a club. You want a P wedge? No, I want to try to hit it out. Okay. So the vine right here, though, that's got to go. <laughs> Lose okay. this out of it. All right, here we go. Let's try and knock it down there. Give us a par. Go. That was fucking okay. Shit. Cut out. We're gonna have to look into that one. That was thick as shit, dude. Where were you at, Cam? Let me get into my definitions of what a loose impediment is here. Where you at, right here? Nope, same thing. Shit. No good. <laughs> Birdie the hard way. What we got here is a uh, ball bounced through the fairway here a little bit, but we got 167 to the flag, par five, so try to get it on a two. Hopefully, roll in an eagle and beat these guys on the front. Got 123 here. I'm gonna try to make birdie the hard way. I'm just gonna hit a little easy 50, hit it right behind the hole. Hopefully have about five, six feet for birdie. He's really good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Looks like there's a ridge behind it, is there not? I got an easy 52 here. I'm hoping to do the same thing Brian did. Laying it just on the green there, that roll out. Oh, be good, please, be good, please, be good, please. Oh, yes. Oh, what a shot. Oh, -ho -ho. That's Birdie, Birdie the push. hard way. Let's go. Par fives, you're never out of it, unless you hit a ball like I did, but that's okay. 
Hey. Make birdie the hard way. Hey, you know, it's it's a simple game, you know? <laughs> Keep it in play. Hey, it's hard to make big numbers. Three right? bad shots, one good shot, you still get a birdie on a par five there, boss. Uh, let's make the putt first. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> That one's good. Let's pick that up. Alrighty. Birdie the hard way. That'll do it for the front nine. So I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this content, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stay tuned for the back nine coming up. Until next time, keep sending it.